At EPRI, we shape the future of clean energy, working with more than 400 energy companies across 40 countries. Low Carbon Resource Initiative, LCRI, is a great example of that collaboration. The most exciting part of the Low Carbon Resources Initiative and the research that we are doing is really focused on being able to advance low carbon technologies technologies that are not commercially available today and are not at scale. Here at EPRI, we do research and development across the entire energy sector from end to end. And we're looking to achieve safe, affordable, reliable, and low carbon energy for our future of society. This is my first time at COP. So I guess from a newbie perspective, it's just the energy and the commitments that have already been made. At this year's COP, I'm so impressed how so many people from around the world have come together to change the world and make cleaner energy for everyone. 50% reduction by 2030 in U.S. implies that we have to accelerate at a 3x pace in U.S compared to what we have done in previous decades. At EPRI, we think of carbon reduction in two pathways, the path to 2030 and the path to 2050. The U.S. has pledged to reduce greenhouse gases economy-wide by 50% from 2005 levels by 2030. Accelerating decarbonization will get us about 80% there to net zero. The remaining 20% will require us to drive innovation on a global scale. It will be challenging. We'll have to make sure energy remains affordable and reliable, but there are some key things we'll need to do right now in order to reach that goal. The body of research that will result from LCRI is really exciting because it spans the full value chain of the energy industry and it's focused specifically on those hard to decarbonize applications, including uh, heavy transportation, uh, power generation, and heavy industry and heating in, in colder climates. When we speak to utilities and other natural gas stakeholders about the Low Carbon Resources Initiative, there is a lot of excitement and inspiration and motivation to get these technologies to commercial scale. We have received a number of awards, one of them around looking at the production of low carbon hydrogen coupled with power generation. In addition, being able to sequester the CO2 emissions and subsurface storage of hydrogen. The Low Carbon Resource Initiative is already providing value to the society. A project that we just started in New York at the Brentwood Power Station is to take an existing gas turbine and see how we can run it on hydrogen. Through the blending project at the New York Power Authority, there's going to be quite a bit we learn around the operational profile of gas turbines and the impact of those emission profiles. That will enable us to drive different research and development solutions to overcome any challenges that are identified. The Low Carbon Resources Initiative and EPRI are really excited about the announcement of our Low Carbon Hydrogen Accelerator. This accelerator is a partnership between EPRI, Greentown Labs, Urban Future Labs, the City of Houston, and Shell. And through that, we are going to be working with startup companies across the board to really start identifying and accelerating low carbon technologies to help achieve our net zero goals. The Low Carbon Hydrogen Accelerator is to bring the startup companies, bring the universities, bring the innovation ecosystem, and bring it to the industry so we have the tools in the toolbox to achieve a net zero future. I'm really excited about this accelerator because we have coming together a need for hydrogen and the potential for it as a resource while also providing to the startup companies real world expectations and requirements from the industry. The accelerator will inform the LCRI by bringing together researchers, collaborators, and technology startups into a collaborative environment. Together, we will be discussing the critical aspects of achieving net zero emissions in a time frame relevant to both the industry and the startup companies. One of the exciting things about EPRI is that we do get to engage with organizations all around the globe. We're working with the International Energy Agency, World Economic Forum, and World Energy Council, and many more. It takes gathering the perspectives from many different places to come up with solutions that solve today's problems. And we really need that in order to drive world-leading innovation and world-leading R&D. 
We announced an exciting new partnership with the World Economic Forum and Accenture to form industrial clusters that seek to achieve net zero. We're looking to, by 2024, form about 100. Industrial clusters are not a new idea. This is a century old idea, which has enabled global economic development around the world. If you think about co-located companies in a specific region, they locate that way for a variety of reasons. It could be logistics, it can be workforce, it can be natural resources. Now taking that foundation that we have built our global economy off of and focusing it on a common goal of net zero emissions is really a powerful way to achieve the future work we're striving for. The U.S. has been in a path of decarbonization since 2005. We have an ambitious target, 50% economy-wide. We can do it if we are all together.